goddamn time. They said you'd be through two days ago. Howdy, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. I had posted a video about this Watson's Cabin a while back. I'll post the previous link into the description. But I decided to redo this and re edit it after playing through on uh, my third time and trying to get 100%. This cabin contains an old lady where you can actually get a pretty cool shotgun early on. And I haven't progressed to Chapter 3, which opens up certain weapons. And I did a video about advice and going to the Wapati Indian Reservation in order to get the dynamite arrow recipe. Well, if you're in chapter two and you go to Watson's cabin, you can get this special shotgun ahead of time. So let's get on with this redo of Watson's cabin and I'll explain it to you. After killing off the O'Driscolls, I realized this cabin was nearby and I decided to ride up to it and begin the potential mission here. About damn time. They said you'd be through two days ago. Just leave what you got in the cellar and be on your way. My guts give me hell and I ain't in a sociable mood. Okay, I remounted my horse in order to remove the weapons that are on Arthur's shoulder because you would have to drop one in order to grab the shotgun. So let's let this play out. One of you again? Walker? Wheeler? I don't know. All you boys look the same these days. Through the back there. No medley. Hey! What's taking so long down there? around and get back up here. After you leave the cabin, you do need to clean the gun. And what's really weird, you wait a day or camp out and wait to the next day. You can return to the cabin and the woman and her sons will be there. And you can get some really good money. And the other thing is, if you go back into the cellar, well, I'll show you what is really interesting. I don't know who's dumber, you, Ethan, Edgar, or Ezra. Keep telling you, Ma, we'll get you a new place. Anything you want. Ain't like we're short on money. I don't want a new place. I got everything I need right here. How many times, Elijah? Shut your mouth or I shut it for you.
I cleaned the shotgun and loaded it up with slugs and took down these guys. Now Arthur can go through and loot to his heart's content because there's money in this cabin. Only $73? I thought there was more in the lockbox, but I could be mistaken. And like I said, you want to go back and you want to go through this entire cabin, take whatever you can take, if you can carry it, and yeah. I'm going to have to move some of the bodies out of the way eventually. You want to go back down to the cellar. After you get back down to the cellar, hey, loot the weapon case. And guess what? You get another semi-automatic shotgun. Actually, you don't get two. What happens is the one you already have is swapped out. You still got to clean the shotgun, though. And yeah, I'm going to maintain it and clean it up. It's in pretty bad condition. A little gun oil. Brings it back to usable condition. And you have this weapon now that is actually extremely good. Again, do this before the end of Chapter 2. Do your exploring and have your fun while in Chapter 2. You get a lot of stuff. So let's go back to exploring the cabin. I'm going to have to move a few bodies around. Gonna have Arthur remove these bodies because they're in the way of potential other things to get. And yeah, if you can hear that truck going by, sorry about that. But like I said, just dump these strangers off into the bedroom. I already cleared that out. And again, I'm gonna take a quick look see around the cabin. Got something off the old lady. Again. Gonna move her body. 
and see if I can find anything else. Okay, I think I cleared the cabin out good enough. Let's go take a look at the yard and see what I can see. Chickens. Yeah, I know this seems cruel, but whenever you raid a house or somewhere where they have uh, livestock, you're better off just killing off the livestock and harvesting what you can from it. You know, like if you had a goat or something, shoot it with an arrow in order to get a better pelt. Chickens, well, yeah. Just get their feathers. And I'm doing this because I'm being merciful. Uh, you know, they could just starve to death. Uh, wildlife could come and eat them, kill them brutally. In this case, again, I'm being merciful. And that's what you want to be, is merciful. Other loose chickens ran off. I'm not going to chase after them. The donkey disappeared, which is a shame. You could have a donkey. And, up, oh, can't get into the outhouse. If you found this video interesting, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four video game related videos a week plus some shorts and some specials, and you don't want to miss out. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.